Hi Nuggets, welcome to Peace Group. Um, as some of you might have put together by now, or maybe you already knew, I went home to Alabama for a little bit to be with my family during quarantine um, and to see my little sister before she left. And while I was here, I thought that it might be really cool to show you guys a little bit of the campus that I went to when I was at the University of Alabama. Um, the reason that I wanted to show you guys the campus is, one, it's beautiful. It's a very, very old campus. Um, and I think 1821 was when it was first established. And it is known for being like a very beautiful as far as like architecture and the landscaping and everything. So I wanted to just like show you guys something that doesn't look like anything that you'll find in Colorado. Um, and then also I wanted to talk about today in Peace Group, you know, we talked about goal setting with my sister and I think part of goal setting and just thinking about your future in general requires that you have some vision for it. Now, you don't know exactly what you need to do, especially because you guys are still so young, but some of you scholars in particular and Panthers are starting to think about, you know, what's going to be, what am I working for? Um, and I know that we've made vision boards in our groups before um, with lots of different staff. And so today I'm going to show you a little bit of what my vision board used to look like, and that was to go to college um, here at the university and to study really hard and to have a lot of fun and to figure out what my next step was. So I'm gonna show you some of the campus and some of the buildings and the places that were the most meaningful to me. Um, so I hope that you enjoy this video and I'll have a few questions at the end that I want you to answer. Alright guys, so one of the first places I wanted to show you, even though I'm not a huge football fan, if you know anything about college football, then you know about the University of Alabama. Also, there's a lot of people who drive trucks that growl here. So, I wanted to show you the stadium. It's the Bryant-Denny Stadium, and we also have the Big Walk of Champions. Um, in the South, college football is a big deal, and I'm ripping my Tuscaloosa hat today. And one thing that I do like about football is no matter where I go in the world, if I see somebody who has an Alabama A on or I know is from the South, I can say Roll Tide. And I know they like me if they say Roll Tide back because that's what we say here at the University of Alabama to support our sports. So here's the stadium. It's a big one. Sorry guys, normally there's not a big crane in the way. Um, but that was something that I knew was going to be a big part of coming to the University of Alabama was gonna be football. And regardless of whether I like football or not, there was a huge sense of community that revolved around game days. Um, we all used to come out onto the quad and I'll show you that in a little bit and hang out and eat really good food because we make good food here in the South. And you know, watch the boys play and listen to music and just hang out and have a good time and feel like a part of something bigger than ourselves. Um, we all knew the same songs and I don't know, it was just something that always felt like home. So this, my friends, is the President's Mansion, one of the oldest standing buildings on our campus. Um, the president of our university actually lives in this building, and it is directly across from the most central part of our campus, which is the Quad and Denny Chimes. As you can see, this girl has just graduated. She's taken her photos in front of Denny Chimes, which is a pretty classic move here at the University of Alabama.
There's actually a lot of uh, jokes on our campus that Denny Chimes, though beautiful and uh, historical, is one of the most annoying features of the University of Alabama's campus because on every hour, it chimes the hour, and every half hour, it chimes the half hour. So at 6 p.m., you're gonna get six chimes, and then at the half hour, I think it does like three chimes every hour, every hour. So surrounding Denny Chimes is probably most people's, and I know my favorite part of the campus, which is the quad, um, which is a big grassy area where you can come and play frisbee or study, take a nap or just relax and enjoy the day. Um, so here is the quad. So as you can see, Denny Chimes is behind me. The next place I'm gonna take you guys is the library where I spent the majority of my time studying, which is directly across from Denny Chimes, across the quad. So this library is officially known as Amelia Gale Gorgas Library, but we all called it Gorgas because it's a fun name and also that's a mouthful. Um, my favorite spot to sit is here off the steps. Find a shady spot the right time of day and you can look out onto the quad and see everything. And it's so green here, it's spring, so it's been raining a lot and it's just kind of perfect. Now we're going to head to what is hands down one of the ugliest buildings on our campus, which was where Miss Mari took all of her classes because the uh, psychology department was housed in Gordon Palmer. Um, so it is a very strange, ugly little building with confusing hallways, but it is my favorite because it is my home. So that's Gordon Palmer. I got lost many a time there trying to find professors because all of the offices are on the sides of the buildings and they have staircases that lead to dead ends and it's a very confusing place to um, take classes. There's also a strange smell um, that one can only describe as the Gordon Palmer Hall smell. Um, but yeah, I took most of my psychology classes there. The classes that I remember the most were in that building. Um, up next, I'm just going to show you a little bit more of campus, and then I think I will take you to the Ferguson Center, where I ate most of my meals, spent most of my dining dollars, a lot of Panda Express and Chick-fil-A, um, and where a lot of people just like hung out, studied, and gossiped. So we're actually about to walk by another of the dining halls um, when you start college a lot of times they'll offer like on-campus um dining deals so you can spend a certain amount of money to have a certain amount of meals provided to you on campus and I just think this place is ridiculously pretty to just be a dining hall that's called fresh foods which was occasionally fresh they had a really dope salad bar um but yeah lots of snacks endless amounts of dessert so we are in what is known as the science complex where i think miss mari took all of one class uh, but is by far one of the most beautiful complexes on campus You guys might be saying to yourselves, wow, Miss Mari, this place is so beautiful. It looks really expensive, but it is actually one of the least expensive colleges in the United States of America to attend. Um, 
The Deep South is a relatively poor place. Um, not all of the people are poor, but the states themselves were largely agricultural, um, as a lot of you probably know from Mr. Matt's lessons. Um, back when the South was first becoming a place. And now that we have so many industries that are not agriculture based and farming has even become an industry where you don't really need people in order to farm. Um, the South has just had a hard time keeping up with the rest of the world. Um, so if you're like, wow, Miss Maria could never go to a place like this. Miss Maria didn't grow up rich either. And she got to go find scholarships and my dad worked here. So I got a discount. Um, so you can make this happen if it's something that you're wanting for yourself. So that was the Ferguson Center where, again, I spent a lot of my time eating food and I'm actually walking over a fountain that is outside of the Ferguson Center that is designed for you to run through. Now, when I first started going to college here, they actually had like a fountain with walls and stuff up so that you weren't supposed to get in it. But of course that turned into who's gonna get in the fountain today. Um, so they just decided to make it flat and water shoots just straight up out of the ground. Um, in this building, we have a lot of restaurants. We have a theater, we have um, PO boxes for students who don't live in town but still wanna receive mail. We have um, our bookstore where you can buy very expensive textbooks, but if you get them used, they're not quite so expensive. We have Starbucks. Um, and a lot of places to like study and hang out. Um, they redid the Ferguson Center one of the years I was here and it's a lot nicer than it used to be. Um, but yeah, spent a lot of time here at the Ferg meeting friends and studying and eating food in between classes. Um, so this right here is probably one of my favorite parts of campus. This is our sleeping iron giant, um, sleeping robot. Don't really know, know a whole lot about this guy, but I think he's quite funny. And he's here in what we call Woods Quad, which is one of the oldest parts of the campus. So this is Manly Hall, which is ironic because it is houses the gender and race studies department. Miss Mari was a women's study minor. Um, and this building is named after an old white dude. So yeah, I took a lot of classes here for my minor women's studies um, on race and gender and oppression and the history of things like the civil rights movement and the women's rights movement. And I studied a lot about different parts of the world. I studied about Native American culture, um, Hispanic culture, Latina culture, you know, trans culture, LGBTQ, everything that you could think of, I was able to study here. Um, I thought that that was an important part um, to add to my studies because I plan to be helping a variety of people and to make sure that I'm never discriminating against any kind of clients. Um, and I wanna be able to know where people come from um, when I meet them, at least to a certain extent. Um, so yeah, I took a lot of classes here. You briefly saw the set of stairs um, Manly is three stories and all of the stairs are on the outside of the building and the elevator is very old, very scary, very slow. Um, so you never took the elevator, you always walked up the stairs. Um, so yeah, got a lot of exercise. As you can see, I've been walking a lot here on campus. This is a huge campus. We actually have our own bus system that will take you to different areas of campus because sometimes you will have classes that legit will take you 15 to 20 minutes to walk to and you don't have that kind of time in between classes. Um, so I am going to take you to my final stop on this tour, which is the place where Miss Mari had her first job. So it is not the prettiest building in the world, but I wanted to show you anything. It actually takes um, a bus ride to get here. I used to have to ride a bus to get to work. So this is actually our college counseling center and um, our women and gender resource center. 
So the Counseling Center does confidential counseling for students who go to the University of Alabama. The first session is actually free and everything is confidential. Um, the Women and Gender Resource Center also deals with some similar issues that are a little too intense for a peace group um, to discuss, but they deal with some vulnerabilities that have to do with being in college and being far away from home for the first time. Um, Ms. Mari worked at the Gender and Women Resource Center through a grant and I went into classes at the university and did some education on things like conflicts and dating, um, how to spot, you know, power and control issues, things like that. Um, so like healthy dating practices, healthy relationships and things of that nature. Um, so yeah, this was my first job and it was kind of my first introduction to starting to kind of connect that maybe I wanted to be involved with education and counseling and things of that nature. Um, the reason that it's far removed from campus is because um, confidentiality. So they wanted students to be able to come here and access the resources without being outed that they were coming to counseling because um, everybody has a right to privacy, but a lot of people need a lot of help sometimes. So. For my assignment for our peace group today, scholars, I would like for you to start envisioning what it is that's your next step after high school. So college is not for everybody. I took a year off after high school, didn't go to college right away. But SS, I know that you are wanting to be a nurse. I would love for you to look up a real program um, that you would want to apply to and be able to tell me three facts about it. Um, TK, KA, RP, whatever it is that you want to do next, whether it's go to college, go to a trade school, start working a job, make money doing YouTube stuff, look at you RP, that's cool. But I need you to come up with three like real facts about how to make that happen for yourself. Not just, this is a college that holds this program. No, no. Three facts on how do you get in? Like, what does your grade point average need to be? How many classes will you take? How much does it cost? Where is it located? Things like that, okay? Panthers, you can do the same thing or you can look up three facts about a job that you would like to have in the future or that you think you might wanna have. Um, Rhino Cats, I would love um, for you to do the same thing as the Panthers. Three facts about any kind of job that you'd want to do. And I mean like any job, like I want to make Legos or I want to design rockets or whatever. I think you guys are pretty tech savvy and able to do this. Um, so yeah, what are we envisioning for ourselves? What is it that we're working for? Why are we spending all this energy trying to do well in school? Um, there is a reason, so let's talk about it. Be safe, Nuggets, I'll talk to you soon.